Well, the third part of our installment on moving to the Philippines is my lovely bride there. Well, I'm not going to put her back on the camera. She's busy looking at Facebook. Hey, hey, language. But the workers are busy. And more busy. And as we stroll outside, boxes, 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 boxes everywhere. This is the truck. They're gonna put some of this stuff in because they were picking up stuff from somebody else earlier. And we got a few little things here. We got a generator we we're taking to the Philippines. Thanks to uh, my wife, brother in law, bless his heart, his soul. And we just had a few things in here. And a little small grill we picked up. Plus, I have a smoker. I bought. So their truck is almost full. So they're gonna take some of this stuff today and come back tomorrow for the second day. That's my that gray car there. It's the rental car we picked up. <clears throat> so we'll see this furniture again. Well, this is the house. It's all right place. Close to work. But the furniture be tentatively will be delivered on the 15th of January, so. And we'll already be in the Philippines then. Making space in the house and a couple rooms. What, how do you call this thing? Bedroom. Bedroom? Yeah. So we will already be in the Philippines by the end to on the furniture deliver, which is going to be a, another thing because as soon as we get the inventory list from these guys, we have to send some paperwork to the Philippine Department of Revenue or Treasurer, I think Treasurer, to apply for this tax exemption so we don't have to pay <clears throat> any taxes on the value of the stuff we're sending. Because my Asawa is a returning Filipino citizen, so we should get the tax exemption. So we have to see how that paperwork goes, and we do have to be in Manila on whatever day that the household goods are arriving to show all our original documents like passports, marriage license, such, such. But the majority of the work is going to be on this woman for the tax exemption. I'm just there for the ride. <laughs> so. We have yet to see how that goes. So as soon as I get that paperwork tomorrow, then I'll go to work and scan it all in, email it, courtesy copy everybody on that email chain that, uh, here's the paperwork, here's all our supporting documents, and we just wait to get a response back from the Philippine government. I hope this goes smooth. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Cost-wise, it seems to be pretty cheap with the tax exemption. You just pay a processing fee of like, I think the max is like 2,000 pesos. And we get our stuff delivered to the house. So that would be an exciting day. Will be a lot more to come. Stay tuned. So, 
just gonna end this sec this one because as soon as they leave, my lovely bride wants to go shopping again. Push it up there. Well, we don't really have that much. 18,000 pounds is for a full house, I'm sure, like three or four bedrooms. We only had some, well, we had some rooms filled, but most of the boxes, not that much furniture. So, yeah. So I see them pulling in, about to maneuver the truck into the driveway. I moved my car already. So we'll 